Okay, Praveen, let's proceed ahead with your technical snap for HPCL. Uh, I'll be asking you a question from fluid mechanics. Okay. Can you tell me how second law of fluid, uh, second law of Newton is used for fluids, liquids? Sir, it is uh, called as law of momentum, sir. It has been uh, used uh, in uh, bending pipes and uh, and also for sprinklers as a rate of change of momentum also, sir. Rho mm -hmm. VR as a formula. No, no, but second law, you are aware what is second law? F is equal to MA, sir. F is equal to MA. So they have changes modified. That is not the, second law of Newton. Tell me what is second law of Newton. F is equal to MA is not second law of Newton. Can you read it? What is the second law of Newton? The uh, force is nothing uh, nothing but uh, mass into ch rate of change of velocity, sir. What is the rate of change of velocity called? Oh, yeah, acceleration. No, that is... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, rate of change of momentum is the force. Have you heard about this uh, equation? Okay, sir. It has been used for, sorry, sir. It has been used for uh, uh, this commuter, uh, the Navier-Stokes equation. Okay. So, this change, rate of change of momentum further can be divided into two parts. One for liquid, one for solids. Are you aware about that? Rate of change of momentum. Uh, sir. You know, momentum, what is the equation of momentum? Mv, sir. M into V. So in case yes, of sir. fluids, we don't talk about mass. We talk about mass flow rate. Yes, sir. Mass flow rate, sir. So from where mass flow rate comes from second law of Newton? If you write dP by dt. Yes, sir. M into, into, M into A, sir. M into A, sir. M A is to convert to dV by dt, sir. The dt goes for dm. And okay. then became mass flow rate into velocity, sir. Okay. And uh, how will you use this equation for, uh, let us say, fluid machineries? No, sir, it is used for uh, in a particular kind of blades, sir. In blades, we have used this uh, equation for uh, finding out uh, force uh, hap uh, happening in that, sir. Force okay. in the blades, curved blades. And use it to find the uh, blade work done, sir. Work done in blades. Okay, Praveen, tell me something about hydraulic turbines. Sir, hydraulic turbines, it is broad, uh, classified into uh, reaction turbine and impulse turbine, sir. Okay. In impulse turbine, it is a uh, built on uh, the example is built on, sir. And reaction turbine, Francis turbine is there, and then a uh, couple turbine is there. Sir. Which turbine is more efficient? This impulse turbine or reaction? Built on turbine, impulse turbine is more efficient, sir. Built on Why? turbine is more efficient, sir. Because it uh, it has more uh, head, head, sir. Uh, so we can use the impulse force to run it, sir. Are you sure impulse turbines are more efficient? Yes, sir. It's more efficient, sir. And the reason you are giving is high head. You see, in case of uh, fluid, sir, in case of you see in thermal point of view, you can see the uh, reaction turbine, 50% reaction turbine has the highest efficiency, sir. Mm. Have you heard about Hero's turbine? Yes, sir. Yes, I mean, it's a 100% reaction turbine. Sir. So what is the meaning of that 100% reaction turbine? Sir, uh, it, the totally the, the totally the uh, blade runs due to only due to the uh, reaction like uh, due to a difference in pressure, sir. Not due to some impulse force. Mm. Praveen, can you tell me something about the pumps? Yes, sir. Pumps are also uh, there's two categories, sir. One is positive uh, displacement pump and non-positive displacement pump. Positive displacement pump example is uh, like a reciprocating pump, and non-positive is a, 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 a centrifugal pump, sir. Mm. So, what kind of work do you calculate in reciprocating pump? So, what kind of force means? Uh, it but helps to increase kind of the work? pressure, sir. You know, there are two kind of work: PDP work, VDP work. Ah, it is a VDP work, sir. VDP or PDV in reciprocating? Sir, uh, sir, in, sir, in reciprocating, if you consider just sir, a mass, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, PV diagram. Yes, sir. If I ask you to draw work for reciprocating pump and for, let's say, centrifugal pump on PV diagram, how shall you draw that? Sir, I think PDV diagram cannot be drawn for centrifugal pump, sir, because it is an open cycle. Mm -hmm. So, more work is obtained in reciprocating or uh, centrifugal? Sir, uh, as, as I say, as a pressure ratio is high in uh, reciprocating, sir. Pressure ratio is low in uh, this uh, centrifugal pump, sir. It is, it is the main work in uh, this kind of things. Praveen, what do you understand by net positive suction head? 
sir net positive suction net uh, it, it helps us to uh, find whether the cavitation will occur in the pump or not sir oh. it should be actual should be uh, higher than uh, uh, related things sir data net positive uh, suction head sir no what what is the net positive suction head what is that factor your formula you are asking sir no i'm just asking what is this uh, thing actually sir net positive suction net tells uh, how much uh, the atmospheric uh, atmospheric is variation with the uh, uh, vaporization process sir normally what is the value of this net positive suction head sir uh, it should be greater than the rated thing sir i, can, I can't say the exact value it should be the rated uh, based on the rated uh, value of the particular pump sir can you explain me what is the uh, cavitation sir cavitation occurs when uh, inside the uh, inside the ampulla when uh, the pressure of the uh, liquid goes below the cavitation uh, the vapor pressure sir. so it uh, starts to form bubbles and work done they can't uh, the uh, work done is will be low sir so we can't pump over uh, fluid sir mm. how can we prevent cavitation so we can prevent cavitation by uh, increasing the net positive suction head sir for that uh, what we can we should do is uh, decrease the suction uh, length of the pipe and increase the delivery head sir mm. so do we experience uh, this uh, cavitation in uh, turbines also yes sir it will be uh, there in francis turbine in the convex side of the uh, at the end of the turbine sir mm. so and there will be a uh, draft tip what about pumps do you see uh, cavitation in pumps also yes sir in uh, centrifugal pump we can see in the impeller of the the tension centrifugal pump sir how do you calculate the efficiency of a pump sir efficiency mean there are several efficiencies sir hydraulic efficiency is there and mechanical mm -hmm. efficiency is there and overall efficiency is there and volumetric efficiency is there sir you are asking particularly so that water. is what turbine or pump you are calculating for everything there is uh, for uh, pump there is a uh, uh, manometric efficiency sir instead of so what is uh, manometric head sir manometric is the head uh, that is needed for the pump to deliver the water sir but how do you define it sir it is another uh, different formula we speak means it is a head of suction head plus delivery head plus friction in suction head friction in delivery head plus uh, v square by 2g sir velocity of the uh, discharge square by 2g sir so is there any head which is more than manometric head also sir no no sir Mm. Okay, so how do you calculate the size or capacity of a pump? Pump it is depend upon the specific uh, speed of the pump, sir. Okay, and uh, what is the range or specific speed of pump, sir? What kind of particularly you asking, sir? Radial pump, mixture pump, and uh, axial pump is there? Maybe axial pump, sir. Axial pump it is around zero to eight eighty two. Sir, I may max greater than one eighty or one sixty, sir. Can I use Bernoulli equation across the pump? Sir, no, sir. We can't use sir because uh, it has some. Uh, uh, sir, uh, because uh, because the energy is not uh, conserved here, sir. Because we are giving energy in the particular pump, sir. So energy input is there. So in inlet energy won't be equal to exit energy. Sir. Why? Because uh, at input energy plus pump work is exit energy, no? Yes, sir. That like we means so you can do, sir. But uh, if you ask me, ask uh, conserved means you can conserve. You can say. Mm. Okay, Praveen. Let me give you feedback. Praveen, we okay, will ask you fluid mechanics and uh, pumps and turbines, right? Okay. Revise this okay, problem very well. Though you have a knowledge, okay. but still I would like you to revise it very well. It starts with Newton's second law, and then it goes to you know uh, calculation of the fluid force and all. And then uh, how the fluid machinery works. So just revise it. Okay. Well. Okay, sir. Rest, I think is okay your level. Fluid mechanics, fluid machinery. Start with that. So uh, any other important topics is there, sir? No, that is the important topics are pumps and all these fluid machinery is important topic in fluid mechanics. Another subject, sir. Any other subject is important. Other subjects, strength of material, obviously thermodynamics. They are basic subjects of mechanical engineers. You need to do that. Right? Okay, sir. Okay.